We've already passed two bills last week to change Washington's structure, the Midnight Rules Act and the Reins Act. Today, we will pass the third, the Regulatory Accountability Act. This requires agencies to choose the least costly option available to do what they are charged to do and prohibits large rules from going into effect while they are still being challenged in court. But it also ends something called Chevron deference, where courts automatically bend to the agency's interpretation of the rules. Under the current standard, that means the agency will win almost every single time in the courtroom, and the people lose. These three bills are about more than stopping bad regulations from being made. They're about changing the process in Washington that systematically prioritizes government over the common good instead of making government serve the common good. Mr. Speaker, our nation is based on a principle that power ultimately comes from the people. Elections are the great foundation of our republic. And as we saw so clearly this last November, through them, the people can make their voices heard. But something has changed. Some of the most significant decisions in Washington, those that most affect the lives of the public, are made by those who don't stand for election. What happens when the EPA imposes rules that deprive people of their property rights? Or when the Department of Health and Human Services tries to force nuns to violate their religion? Or when the VA perpetuates a system that lets veterans die while they wait for their care? The people can't vote out the bureaucrats who write rules at the EPA or the Department of Health and Human Services. They can't vote out bad leaders of the VA. And these bureaucrats know it. They know they aren't accountable to the people even as they exercise great power. And without elections, the people lose. Washington is brimming with executive employees devoted to preserving the status quo. Then there's a revolving door of high-level federal employees who head to major consulting firms and lobbying arms to influence the very agencies they came from. This breeds thousands of regulations that further enrich the connected and powerful, sometimes at the great expense of the average American. And it's our economy and the American worker that suffers the most. Federal re regulations written and enacted by these bureaucracies impose a burden of about $1.89 trillion every year. That number is hard to sense or even imagine. It comes to roughly $15,000 per U.S. household, or 10% of the American GDP. The Obama administration alone has written regulations that require over 583 million hours to comply with. That's an average of nearly five hours of paperwork for every single full-time employee in America. The Federal Register is now the length of 80 King James Bibles. When, bu when bureaucracies and bureaucrats and agencies' heads cannot be held accountable, and they keep their jobs regardless of corruption, incompetence, waste, fraud, abuse, or backroom deals they make with special interest, that's the problem. That's the swamp, and we need to drain it.